Kentucky. Well, I hope you're doing well on this Tuesday evening. Of course, if you've been outside today, kind of a dreary day to be outside. We really haven't seen much with precipitation, but if you are going to be out and about this evening, you at times may see on the windshield a couple sprinkles or even snow flurries. It's just cold enough that, yes, we may see some flurries. In fact, overnight lows are going to be in the mid-20s overnight, so you'll need the winter coat on for your Wednesday. A chilly day as we go through the day. Still could see a couple snow flurries, but we do expect more breaks of sunshine by late in the afternoon for your Wednesday. But again, for a lot of the day, it is going to be mostly cloudy. As we get later in the week, though, we do expect drier conditions and more sunshine for late in the work week, but we do have the chance for more rain as we get back into the weekend. We'll be talking more about the timing of that rain coming up in just a minute, but showing you the Fort Bank Skyview from downtown Lexington. Looking at East Main Street right now, just some light traffic, dry roadways at this time. Of course, there's probably going to be a lot more traffic heading downtown for tonight's UK versus Mississippi State basketball game at Rupp Arena at 9 o'clock. Live HD radar not showing much in the form of precipitation at this time, but as we look a little further to our west, out toward Louisville and run along the Ohio River, you can see a little bit of that precipitation, and that's some of the sprinkles or snow flurries that are kind of moving out of Indiana, now moving just into areas around the Louisville metro area, which we may at times see this evening. Now, this is falling into drier air. We have dry air in place across the atmosphere, so it's going to be hard for much to reach the ground, so we're not expecting any major accumulation of snow or anything, but we'll maybe just see a little bit on the windshield. It stays windy as we go through this evening. In fact, we've had wind gusts today up around 25 miles per hour. Still, that will continue as at least the windy factor as we go overnight tonight and even as we go into your Wednesday. Windshields outside right now make it feel like the lower 30s, so it does make it feel about 5, even 10 degrees colder when you factor in that steady breeze. Again, if you're heading to Rupp Arena for the UK basketball game against Mississippi State, tip-off is at 9 o'clock. Temperatures for the most part, low to mid-30s, heading to the game and by the end of the game. As we go from 8 o'clock here to midnight, you can see a little bit of some snow flurry activity showing up on future cash, and as we go into our early morning hours of Wednesday, mid-20s to start off your day on Wednesday. As the day goes on, we'll see maybe decreasing clouds late in the afternoon, but overall, our kind of a chilly day, our coldest day of the week. High temperatures for your Wednesday around 37 degrees. Overnight tonight, mid-20s. Overnight lows around 26 degrees. A couple sprinkles or snow flurries possible at times this evening and overnight. And about the same story for early Wednesday with some late day clearing. High temperatures get back into the upper 30s for your Wednesday afternoon. And then our warming trend begins. Upper 40s Thursday, upper 50s and more sunshine by your Friday. But there is the chance for rain showers as we head into the weekend. Upper 50s Saturday, upper 40s Sunday. Cold front moves through late Saturday into early Sunday. Sunday. Amber? Thank you, Jason. Now in consumer news, the future of kids' fashion doesn't necessarily include.